welcome back and now we're gonna talk about redox reactions again and this time about assigning oxidation numbers or states now well in the previous lessons we've learned about oxidation in terms of gaining and losing oxygens and electrons and the electrons becomes particularly easy because these uh, the substances that we looked at are either in solution so they break down into ions which have charges and or they are salts and salts have made are made of ions which have charges now let's look at an example of another redox reaction but there are neither salts nor in solutions. Uh, nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia. These are all covalent compounds. These have no charges, so that's fine. But what about this guy? It's not a salt and it's not a solution. So there's no charges for nitrogen and hydrogen. So what do we do? Well, we have a make-believe make system in terms of assigning oxidation numbers. And what are oxidation numbers? Yeah, it's just an imaginary system whereby if these things break up, who will actually gain the electrons? So it's kind of like a prenuptial agreement between two people whereby uh, if you uh, break up, who will get the money? And electrons, since electrons are the currency of chemistry, so who will get the electrons? Great. And so, to assign oxidation numbers, here are the rules. Boom! Alright, I'm going to scroll up. The rules for assigning oxidation numbers. Rule number one, the most premier of the rules, the oxidation number for elements is always zero. So, example, nitrogen and lithium. The oxidation for each are zero. Everything, all the other rules now apply to molecules and compounds. Alright? So, Oxidation numbers for ions in a compound is equal to their charges. For example, lithium ion is a plus one and a phosphide ion is a minus three. Oxidation numbers for hydrogen in a molecule or a compound is always plus one. Unless that hydrogen is a hydride, then it will be a minus one. Example, ammonia, the hydrogen here will always be a plus one. For hydride, in lithium hydride, the hydrogen here will have an oxidation number of minus 1. The oxidation number for oxygen in a molecule or a compound is always minus 2 unless it's a peroxide, then it will have an oxidation number of minus 1. Example, water, H2O, the oxygen will have a minus 2. In hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, that oxygen will have a minus 1. The oxidation number for fluoride in, or fluorine in a molecule or compound is always a minus one. The oxidation numbers for any other halogens or halides are usually minus one unless that halogen or halide is bonded to an oxygen. So an example would be, let's say, uh, ClO3. This chlor chlorine in here is no longer a minus one charge, it's something else. And we will figure that out a little later. All right. The sum of the oxidation numbers for entire molecules or compounds is always equal to zero. So for example, the entire oxidation numbers for water is zero. The entire oxidation numbers for uh, salt here is zero. And finally, the sum of the oxidation numbers for polyatomic ions equal to their charges. So for example, sulfate, the entire sulfate will have an oxidation number of minus two, the entire phosphate will have an oxidation number of minus three. So with this in mind, you can now determine the oxidation numbers for all these things in this equation. Okay, rule number one states that elements is always has an oxidation number of zero, so we know that Hydrogen here has zero, and hydrogen here has zero. What about the oxidation numbers for ammonia? Well, hydrogen has a plus one according to rule number three, but there's no rules for the nitrogen. So how do we solve the oxidation number for nitrogen? Well, 
Remember, in rule seven, the oxidation numbers for the entire thing here is minus is zero. So we can make this into a uh, simple mathematical e equation where n plus three, the three comes from here, multiplied by one equals zero. Solve for n, so therefore n equals minus three. Okay, so now we know the oxidation number of minus three. Great. So let's like take a look at other examples in uh, assigning oxidation numbers. So for example, let's take uh, the previous example here. Then we have a chlorate. You have never seen this before, but what's the oxidation number of Cl? Well, here we know the oxidation number of this oxygen is always minus two. The oxidation number for this entire species is a minus one because of this charge. What is the oxidation number for chlorine? Well, Cl plus three, let's pull down the video, three minus two equals a minus one. So Cl plus minus six equals a minus one, therefore Cl equals a plus five. So the oxidation number for this chlorine in chlorate is a plus five. Great. Another example, let's put it out here. And uh, let's say the oxidation number of this guy. Well, we know the oxidation number for oxygen is minus two. We know that the charge of sulfate is a minus two, and so lead must be a plus two. So what should this be? Well, the entire oxidation number for this entire salt is a zero. So let's do this. Two plus S plus four multiplied by negative two equals zero. And so I will get S minus six equals zero, therefore sulfur has a plus six. So this sulfur has a plus six oxidation number. Okay? What about another one? Let's say Na2O2. What's the oxidation number for this? Well, sodium charge ion is always a plus one. And wait a minute, this you will think it's a minus two, but Guess what? It's not a normal oxygen oxide. It's a peroxide. So therefore, it must have an oxidation number of minus one. Let's talk about um, MgH2. What's the oxidation number for this? Well, magnesium is an ion, so it has an oxidation number of plus two. And you would think that this hydrogen will have a plus one, but guess what? It does not balance off this whole thing because the entire thing here has to have a zero charge or oxidation number of zero. So if you add all this up, it's not going to equal zero. So take a look. It's a hydride. So it must be minus one because two times negative one, sum it up with plus equals zero. So here you go. Examples of assigning oxidation numbers.